down. Please describe your dish to chef. So having studied a little bit of Indian food, I did a date chutney inside of the phyllo. I mean, I've never put uh, chutney inside a phyllo paste. I know. The uh, lamb has mango powder. That's good. A little Damn. seed on the dates. Oh, I fucking missed a seed. The lamb is cooked very nice. Bizarre, the old uh, chutney inside phyllo pastry. Very bizarre. Uh, Latasha. I've prepared uh, seared lamb with a sweet pea and mint puree. Uh, lamb's delicious. It's very, very good. But the okra, it's undercooked. But otherwise, the other flavors are really, really good. Thank you, Chef. Let's call Aaron first. Chef, out of five. I would give him three. Aaron, a two. Crap. <laughs> and Latasha, I'm going to give yours a three. A good four, I would say. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm feeling good. I want to do a little Indian dance. Hey! Uh, seven to five for the red team. Next up, chicken, please. With the blue team down by two, Sade is hoping her garam masala chicken will receive a high score. Very nice, actually. Four out of five. Three. Three. Yeah. And she receives a solid seven out of ten, yes. while Sterling's chicken curry soup it is not as fragrant as, as her dish. I haven't seen a soup like that anywhere. Fails to impress. I'm going to give that a one. About two, actually. Man, I got three. One, one, one. Booty, you pulled back the lead. 12 to 10. Cod, let's go. Now it's up to Bryant's Indian-inspired cod to maintain the blue team's lead. Basically, a dry rub cod and some champagne vinegar. Where in the fuck did you see that in India? I think it is. Not pleasant. But his dish misses the mark, which gives Ro a chance to put the red team ahead with her phyllo wrapped cod. The phyllo paste is wet. Yeah. Suck it. It's like eating a mouthful yeah. of wet tissue. But she also underwhelms. Three, I guess. Two. Thank you. And the blue team's margin is now just one point. Blue, you have a slight lead. Yeah. 16 to 15. Come Next up, the battle of the port. Let's go. You got this, Jim. Going into the final round, it's Jennifer versus Fernando. I feel completely ashamed that a Michelin-rated Indian chef, he's about to eat whatever the hell I just put on my plate. Jennifer. I marinated the pork with coconut milk and tamarind. Underneath, you have a basmati rice with clove, star anise, and curry leaves. Did you taste your, your dish? Oh, my god. Pork's delicious. It's very good, actually. Pretty. It's a very tasty dish. It's pretty flawless. Um, I, I really could just collapse right now. Um, very, very nice dish. Yeah, good job. Yeah. Uh, Fernando. Chef, this is a pan-roasted uh, pork loin with uh, turmeric and cumin. And then you have on the bottom is uh, braised garbanzo beans. Oof. It's hot. I so hoping the yogurt will counterbalance the, the heat. Pork is cooked very nicely, but uh, the flavors are slightly muted. There is a huge push from the green chilies. Spices to be blended down a peg. Fernando, four out of five. Chef Fernando's pork dish. I would give it to three. Blue team, eight point lead. Jennifer's out of five, please. It's a solid four. Oh, red team, we need this win, we need this win. It's tough, very tough. Yeah, solid four, good job. Good job, Jen. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Absolutely. Good, good work. Good work. Good Thank job. you. Oh my God. Both teams are tied now. I am seriously going to lose my mind if I don't get out of here. Red team, blue team. We have a tie. The highest scoring dish breaks the tie. One chef scored eight out of ten and has won it for her team. Congratulations. Jennifer, yes. red team. Yeah. Well done. Yes.